Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. And today we've got a TVP at the GM Masters level at Port Alexander, the latter edition. Going to be between Jeff and Syke. Top left hand corner is going to be the Red Terran player, Jeff. And in the bottom right hand corner, it's the Blue Protoss player. His name is Syke. What is that spinning clan logo? I feel it is familiar. It's a dragon of some kind, or maybe a wyvern. Okay, so on twitch.tv slash Falcon Paladin, I'm going through Baldur's Gate, the Enhanced Edition. It's an RPG uh, video game. And I just did a quest where this guy's like, hey, I was sent to kill a dragon, but every description I've seen says it has a barbed tail. As far as I know, dragons don't have barbed tails. Wyverns do, and they are smaller than dragons. So hey, you want to split the bounty and help me kill a couple of wyverns? And I was like, hey, that's great. And we did. And we split the bounty, and it was a lot of money, and it was really fun. So, Saturdays and Sundays are Baldur's Gate days over at twitch.tv slash, twitch slash Falcon Paladin. <laughs> and the other days are StarCraft 2 and The Division 2 during the week. Alright, so, one racks expand here out of Jeff walling off down here. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Haven't seen this in a PVT, and uh, Psyche is not walling off, as is tradition in PVTs, because Terrans um, and Marauders and Marines can come up here and go, buh, 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 knock down your wall from distance, and just it's just not worth it. It's just a really, really bad idea in TVP, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this matchup. Holy smokes, no gas, dude. No gas opening here from Jeff. There we go, now tossing the gas down after he got a Marine out. Just here to, I guess deal with the depths that might be showing up but man that cyber core is not even done yet it is a two gate opening here with the cyber core so that indicates it is going to be some aggression here out of psych so the wall is going to do jeff just exceptionally well like so well two stalkers are going to show up here if there wasn't a wall it'd be much much harder for jeff to hold this as he just is barely getting his gas and he's got a second gas and he's only putting one worker on each right now which means he's not going to have enough for a factory for a bit of time here. Which means he's not going to have tanks. But the SCV scouts this. The SCV sees the Stalkers coming out, moving out across the map. Sees no expansion from the Protoss at all. There we go. Tossing it down right next to the shattered corpse of that SCV. And now marine production is really, really important here. Do you need... Is this a wall? Why do I feel like this isn't a wall, but it is? But it is, right? It's got to be. Is two marines in a bunker enough to hold off two Stalkers? I gotta imagine it is, if your SCVs can repair well enough. I think Jeff might just bought himself a lot of time. He's got two bases before Psyche does. Are there additional stalkers on the way? Not just these two. These two are the only ones that are going to try to do stuff here. And can they actually... They can set up and hit that barracks without anybody stopping them. There's a factory on the way, but it's... I mean, the factory on the way means we are not going to have tanks anytime soon. There we go. Just moving the barracks to a place where the stalkers can't hit it without taking shots from the bunker. I don't know if the Stalkers know there's only two Marines in this bunker. They don't have range because there is no range for Stalkers. There's range for Dragoons in StarCraft 1, which this is a very viable opening for Protoss in PvT and uh, StarCraft Brood War. Is you get Dragoons out, you send them up here, you get the range upgrade really fast, and you can outrange that bunker and actually hit it without taking shots in return. It's a really good strategy, but here, I don't know what Psyche is trying to do. The double stalker opening is, I mean, it's buying some mining time here, I guess. Mining time that Jeff is using to have to repair instead. Cool. He's got Blink on the way. Cyclones in production with Magfield Accelerator instantly for Jeff. Doubling the damage done on that lock-on ability to 800 damage over the course of that lock-on. Which means, yeah, stalkers die. Stalkers die to a single lock-on here. Two more stalkers do show up coming across. It's a full bunker now, so it's going to be four Marines versus four stalkers. The SCVs are repairing this bunker, and once again, I just... I almost feel like Psyche should just run by this. Sure, you might lose a Stalker, but then what's going to kill you? I guess now a Cyclone will probably kill you. Uh, another Cyclone here, too. So Jeff is opening with the Cyclones, double pumping them, as a matter of fact, and then just... And you can't run from it. You'll die. <laughs> you can't run, man. Ooh. All right, so... This is similar to a game I've casted recently where one player is master and one player is GM. And it's interesting to try to figure out which player is which at this stage. What is Psyche working on, man? Not much. He's going for a robotics facility. He's got a sentry. Just now warping in here, too. He's going for that blink. An immortal would be worth its weight in gold in the situation. 
but that's a long ways off yet. So just still, Cyclone, Cyclone, Magfield, Accelerator coming in here too, just making it, what it does here is it's fewer shots on the lock-on to take down a Stalker, is what it is. That's all it is. Holy crap, that Stalker can hit, but then the lock-on chases it away, does a huge chunk of damage there. Tanks in production now for Jeff. Is he mecking? Is he holy smokes mecking versus a Protoss? Have I seen this recently, if at all? I don't know. I don't know that I have. Definitely early game. Yes, Cyclones are good, but eventually Immortals come out, and Immortals crush everything that mech can do. As we're seeing now, Immortals on the way. We're going for charge. I like this. Kind of a charge lot immortal thing versus this composition that Jeff is rolling with. Uh, uh, charge lots do really well against Cyclones. Get a, a surround on there. Don't take that bonus damage from their shots. Calling it good. Just getting a fusion core, y'all. Fusion core, but also might be making liberators here too. So that'd make more sense for advanced ballistics rather than for BCs. Especially considering your opponent did open up. Did happen to open up Stalkers, which really counter Battlecruisers exceptionally well. But man, that is double Starport with Tech Lab. Ooh, and the Hallucinated Phoenix scouts that thing too. Scouts it hard. Sees this and says, probably BC? Who does BC in PVT? The answer is this Jeff guy, apparently. Uh, are we doing it? Jeff? Yep, man, he's going <laughs> Battlecruiser. Battle Cruiser operational. He is supply blocked, unfortunately. He's going for Yamato here, too. And a sensor tower. So, two base cyclone tank battle cruiser. What a weird build this is. I kind of really like it, to be honest. But at the same time, I'm not sure I've ever seen the likes of it in a PvT at a higher level game. Definitely, I've seen battle cruisers attempted to be used in lower level games versus Protoss into the void. But uh, not so much here. So, we'll see how it works out. Honestly. If Psyche was smart, he'd be making Void Rays right now. And just as many Stalkers as he can. He would not be bothering with Immortals, I don't think. I guess maybe the Immortals still do pretty well against the Cyclones as long as they can get hits off. But again, you can get kited by the Cyclones like everything else. Psyche has got three bases up. He is killing it economically. 61 to 55 workers. He does have about the same income as Jeff does because mules are good. As we do like to reference here, third base on the way for Jeff here in his main base and throwing up missile turrets. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, uh, Psych knows, right? Psych saw this. Psych saw this right here. Snapshot. We got two star ports with tech labs and a fusion core. That is absolutely 100% battle cruisers. I don't know why he's. I guess he's still making immortals. Does he feel like his stalker count is adequate here? He's working on plus one attack for his ground units. Uh, Hallucinated Phoenix can try to get in and absolutely die. I mean, Jeff is pretty well protected against air surveillance as well as air attacks. And yeah, Hallucinated Phoenix dead. No scouting for you, except you see double armory, so definitely this is mech. So Immortal Production, double pumping them now is Jeff. He's also working on a robotics bay, possibly for Disruptor is pretty good. Disruptor is pretty great against tanks, especially because tanks can't move to avoid those shots, those purification novas. So not a bad idea there for him. All right, so moving out with double battle cruiser. Generally, this is how you want to do things: is move on out slowly, do your damage, and then jump back home. If you jump across the map, you get caught, you get murdered because you can't jump home and escape danger. So Jeff is taking the patient route here, flying across the map, setting up a third base with some tank and cyclone defense, making more battle cruiser two back home, and then doing a nice transfer to his third. 67 to 61 workers. Psych has a lead. Fourth base. Halfway done here for the Protoss. And I think Psyche is doing pretty much whatever he wants right now, which does not bode well for Jeff. Although, there's not much protecting this third from Double Battle Cruiser bearing down upon it with increased danger. Observer scouting sees a Marine. Why is his foot glowing? Is it inside? It's like inside the stairs. Anyway, Battle Cruiser's operational. We are here, ladies and gentlemen. Get out of there. Get out of your house. Probes, there's stuff. Taking out a pylon, fine. Maybe you'll supply block your opponent. Actually going after this Nexus. No, 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 no. De guaranteed damage. You model cannon, you model cannon, and you jump out. All right, man. So a couple probes die. What, five probes? End up getting killed there. Psych is out 67 to 67. Workers in favor of Jeff. Or in the exact tie with Jeff. Now moving into Widow Mines as well as Infernal Pre-Igniter. Maybe for Hellbats, right? Hellbats against Zealots. Pretty fantastic. 
But I kind of like this little ball of death that Sykes rolling with here. He's got his Stalkers, he's got his Archons and Immortals. Sentries for Guardian Shield if necessary. Third base very well protected by Jeff, but again, four bases are now done for Psych. He's going into double Stargate, or Stargate here. Hmm, double Stargate. What do we do with double Stargate? Maybe Carrier. Carrier would be interesting here. He's being given all the time in the world to macro up. So is Jeff, though. Jeff's getting a fourth base fairly easily, fairly entirely uncontested. Nobody's really doing anything of note here, other than the Battlecruiser attack, other than the Stalker pressure earlier in the game. Just kind of hanging out. Observer does get picked off. A little bit of laziness there from Psyche, not paying attention to his units. And hey, let's expand again. We're 10 minutes into this game. Let's have five bases versus Terran. How's that sound great? Great, says Psyche. Let's do it. All right, man. So five bases. You're at 171 supply, effectively maxed out, working on additional upgrades. There's your Fleet Beacon. All right, so Fleet Beacon and additional Stargates. This has got to be Carrier. He's got to be going just mass carrier here versus whatever the heck Jeff is trying to do. Now, battle cruiser versus carrier. Oh, have we seen this battle? Have we seen this battle recently? I don't know. Does carrier beat battle cruiser? Now, hmm, that was actually there was a website that had a StarCraft quiz back when Brood War was a thing, and it would ask like, how many workers should you put on your refineries to fully saturate them and act, like not oversaturate them and. That's how much they didn't hold your hand for Brood War, guys. You didn't know that stuff. They didn't tell you right here, three out of three. Uh, but anyway, one of the questions was, one BC versus one carrier, who wins? And the answer was... God, I knew this. I knew this at one point. Great scan by Jeff, by the way. He sees exactly where Psyche is coming up here. And we're marching up. There are tanks. There are cyclones. I don't know about this, man. Psyche doesn't know about it either. He decides he's going to pull on back. I mean, better safe than sorry. Just poke in, see what you can do. Maybe send some zealots around for some harassment elsewhere. I don't... Oh my gosh, Psyche is expanding again. Psyche! Psyche is getting a sixth base at 12 minutes. This is insane. Anyway, yeah, the question is today, what wins? One battle cruiser or one carrier? Again, the carrier has all their interceptors, right? Let's assume upgrades are even two. Uh, no upgrades on either one. Um... I want to say Battle Cruiser maybe today. Maybe Battle Cruiser today. It depends on maneuverability and Yamato and all bunch of stuff. But anyway, coming down to see what is down here. And they find some Zealots. Some Zealots that have plus one, plus one and charge. But they're not actually fast enough to run away from this. That's kind of insane. You think about it. Blue Flame Hellions cruising around too, trying to find some stuff to do. Battle Cruisers find the sixth base. They're probably going to shut that thing down. Hellions cruising on in. Oh, uh, there you go. I was going to say, don't try to take down the Nexus. Eugenie says, oh, gosh, the probes. The probes. The massacre. Oh, the humanity. That's so many dead probes. That is 25 dead probes. All right. Trying to set up. Nope. Then jumping out. The battle cruiser trying to do some stuff here at the fifth. That does not work out for them. Hellions are still roasting stuff up. Five kills, four kills, and one kill on those guys. And there are still probes being sent over here. Psych. No. Psych! Don't send probes. This is a death. This is a death march for probes. Baton death march. Trail of tears. Whatever you want to say in history, the historical context here. And all the Hellions pay for their crimes with their lives. But yeah. All right, man. Seventy-three to sixty-one workers. Jeff is killing it economically now, especially because he has mules. And losing that sixth base was kind of a problem for Psych. Losing all of his workers at the other side was kind of a problem there too. But otherwise, he's got a whole bunch of Tempest. Oh, why did I not think Tempest? Right? Tempest to deal with the battle cruisers. They were made to deal with battle cruisers and carriers and brood lords and other Tempests. That's what they were created to do, is wipe those things off the face of the planet. And considering Jeff is making four battle cruisers at a time out of his five starports, uh, yeah, Tempest seems like a really, really good idea here. Just Jeff trying to go mass BC. Versus a high-level Protoss opponent seems very, very strange. But, yeah, man. We've just been building up at this stage. Upgrades are drilling claws. Plus two air weapons. Plus two vehicle and ship plating. And do we have plus two, plus anything on these Hellions? Ah, uh, Infernal Pre-Igniter. That's it. Oh, gosh. 
Yeah, uh, the Observer saw those guys coming. The Stalker greeting group was there. Welcome Party was there to shut that down. And Sykes going for a sixth base again. Meanwhile, Jeff has his own sixth. Fifth. Fifth down here along the left side. And Sykes like, you know what? I have new really good Tempests. Let's do this thing. So it's going to head on up and try to harass one of these bases that really doesn't have much to stop this from happening. Oh, the scans, though. Jeff, whoa, the battle cruisers all jump over here. And the Yamato cannons. Oh, the Yamatos. Okay. The stalkers are trying to fight here, too. But my goodness gracious, 2-2 two -two battle cruiser, pretty good. Look at this fire while moving thing they have, too. The stalkers can't shoot while moving. And that means the BCs are getting hits off while the stalkers move. And that's such a major, major advantage. That was not enough Tempest to fight against that many battle cruisers, especially, again, with the Yamato gun. And we're making seven at a time now. I mean, Jeff says, you know what's better than this many battle cruisers? Seven more at a time? He's maxed out. He's got six BCs. He's making six more. We're going to have 12 battle cruisers in the sky. This is a crazy, crazy match. Sykes, like, I don't even. Void Rays? Void Rays. Void Rays, ho! And you need so many Void Rays because, again, Yamato Cannon will one shot your Void Rays. So you have to have more Void Rays than they have Battle Cruisers by like two. <laughs> like a factor of two or something. Somewhere, somewhere around there. Oh, I see this. Blue Flame, Hellbats, or Hellions coming around on the backside here. Out of cannon range and Roosh. Roosh. Sacrificing themselves to get those juicy, delicious probes because that's what you want here. They could be killing them faster if they had better upgrades. Like, vehicle attack has not been on the priority list at all for Jeff. And it's kind of hurting him here a little bit, but four Void Rays at a time in production down here in Cycland. He's working on... Is that plus three air? Yeah, man, that's plus three air. Just now complete here. So brutal. Such a brutal, brutal amount of damage put out against armored targets. And guess what? Battle cruisers are armored targets. So here we go. Jeff decided to move on in while expanding to a six down on this left side here at 17 minutes. Tempest's firing from distance here. The vo Again, the Yamato is just a huge... It doesn't one-shot the Void Rays. What? They have too good of an armor. They have way too good armor. All right, man. Still everybody dying. The battle cruisers do jump out, though. Only a few of them do survive the carnage. Two kills, eight kills, three kills, seven kills, seven kills. And I think the void rays are a pretty good answer. I mean, I think they're all dead. Six of them are dead. There are zero or four of them remaining. So maybe. Maybe it was worth it. Resources lost, 15,000 for Psych, 12,000 for Jeff. Oh, the muling. Oh, Jeff, the muling over here at the 6th base. In comes like 6,000 minerals per minute right now with all of these mules muling. They can't all, right? They can't use an existing mineral patch. They did nerf that. So you can't just go nuts with it. Oh, here we go. Sykes showing up at the 6th base. He's, I think he's going to take it down. The battle cruisers are not on jump. What is on jump? That is too many immortals, man. I don't think he can repair through that with that many immortals crushing. Yeah, man, especially if they have plus three attack. That base is gone, and Psych decides to pull on out. Meanwhile, battle cruisers are chasing your army, and you don't really have many stalkers here. Oh, no, the recall. The recall is the only thing that can save you, save some of you. Oh, man, two immortals get left behind to die. Brutal. Brutal death for them for sure. So six base is gone. Replanting it would be nice, man. All of these mules expiring. That would be a huge pick up for Psych. That was really good. But Jeff says, you know what? Let's keep moving. There are eight stalkers on the ground and ten void rays. Prismatic alignment. Go! My gosh, that kills them so fast. Yamato cannons are doing work here, but I think these BCs are done. At least the ones that can't jump out. Oh, they jumped over here. Why not jump into enemy territory with a battle cruiser that has exactly 25 hit points on it? We'll just kill more of these probes over here with our instantaneous ability to be anywhere on the map at any time, even if we don't have vision on it. The number of probes killed in this game is 53. Two SCDs have died. Jeff is masterclassing how to battle cruiser versus Protoss right now, and it's really, really working out for him. Uh, he's going to lose two more BCs here, which is problematic, but the entire army moved over there, and I think we're okay. 
192 to 171 supply, 120 to 107 army supply in favor of Jeff and then both counts. He is working on vehicle weapons level 2 now, so I guess the tanks do better, the Hellions do better. Sixth base is back and another round of mules is here and ready to go. Tanks defending a little bit better against an immortal push. Sykes decides to head the other direction anyway, though, as Jeff looks like he's going to try to expand everywhere he possibly can. Everywhere he terrenly can on this map. Ah, uh, this base may be in trouble. And in fact, it is. But guess who jumped down here? Hey! Jeff did! Jeff jumped to this 6 o'clock position. I think Sykes going to lose this base. His army is a little out of position. Way the heck up here. They're coming back to try to stop it. But nah, no. No. Not with fully upgraded battle cruisers. He's making Vikings back home. More Voider is on the way from Syke. Do you want to try to go into the main? You jumped over here, didn't you? I'm trying to look at your cooldowns. Yes. The battle cruisers did jump over here. Psych chasing in hot pursuit. And good golly, losing the void rays. Because oh, they can't run. The void rays are too fast. Battle cruisers gone. But guess who's over here? Blue flame hellions again. Doing a better job against these probes because they have the plus two attack. See that? See that difference? That is the plus two attack difference. Number of battle cruisers killed in this game: 27. 27 battle cruisers, seven tempests, 16 voideries, two nexuses, a planetary fortress, and a command center have all died so far in this game. The probe count is just 83. Probes have been killed. 83. Don't line them up. Line them up! Oh, as Day 9 would say! <laughs> oh, gosh! Yeah. Whoosh. 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 Sykes down to 38 probes, you guys. Meanwhile, 6 base of death under attack again. Really has nothing to do with these void rays over here at all. The tanks get melted by prismatic alignment. The planetary fortress dies in 4 seconds. And the sixth base is out. Jeff has not expanded for a while. He does not have new sources of income. And as a result, he may be in trouble here. He's trying to get Hellions across the map to win this thing. But they're getting absolutely stopped in their tracks by Stalkers. Trying to maybe expand up this way. Yeah, Jeff's trying to make a new sixth base. But oh my gosh. Is there a Widowmine shot? Dude, there are Widowmine shots here. Did you not bring detection? All right, Viking crew. Brave Viking crew versus these Void Rays. Actually doing pretty darn well for themselves here. Wiping them out. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This Viking attack. Focusing down the Void Rays. Focusing down the Tempest. We got some more Void Rays coming in over here. These are armored. You can use Prismatic Alignment against them. Surprisingly not doing it. Is that on? It is on cooldown, so that would explain a lot. Oh, not the Planetary Fortress. Killed. But, yeah. My gosh. All the Vikings die. Guess who shut this base up here, though? Jeff did. Jeff shut it down. Oh, this Void Ray lives, and it has a prismatic alignment, and it's going to use it here. Use it. I mean, kill the probes instead. Meanwhile, Stalker's just taking out Hellions in the middle of the map here. The Hellions are a little bit lost in that situation. Look how long it takes to kill something. That is an armored. Oh, the Widow Mine, though. That is a one kill Widow Mine, but it has done just incredible amounts of damage for Jeff here in this game. All right, so. We are coming down to it, guys. Jeff has... Uh, he's got some income. He's got 33 workers, though. SCV's killed 41. Psyche has lost 100 plus. Planetary Fortress, fight. Battle Cruisers, fight. They're trying to get the PF. The repair is not enough. But all of these stalkers are going to die. There's really no saving them here at all. They have great upgrades. They do, but they're just not the numbers needed. 3-3-2 on those guys is pretty fantastic, but BCs are good. And as a result, everybody dies. Army supply 99 to 36 right now. Jeff, he's suddenly doing great. Five battle cruisers, five tanks, 21 Vikings, four widow mines versus two void rays, a warp prism, and that's pretty much it. Sykes Bank is nothing. 200 minerals, 2,000 gas. He's got 57 probes, but this base is starting to get mined out here. This base is starting is retreating as Vikings, landed Vikings, are here to ruin your day. Yeah, try to fight against that, Stalkers. Not going to have a good time with it at all. Wow, another Nexus goes down, lifting the Vikings now. In case some Void Rays show up. 
And again, there are some. Sykes been making them. He's got another one in production as we stand. But 103 to 57 army supply. Doubling up is never great. These probes. The probe occur. The probe massacre. Another base down. More probes dying. 118 probes have died. 118. I don't even. I don't know. Never, never, never. What do you even say? All right, man. Here come the void rays using prismatic alignment, burning through those guys pretty easily. The stalkers on the ground doing great damage here too, but actually the void rays getting cleared out by the command attacks of the battle cruisers and the Vikings. The Vikings land to provide that additional little bit of an oomph versus the stalkers, and that is it. Chef is your winner in 25 minutes. And 39 seconds. <laughs> what a match. What an insane match. It was a bit of a bit of a slower buildup, I would say, in the first about 15 minutes of that game. A lot of bases were taken. Some harassment was done. Not a whole lot. But, man, psych, he lost 119 probes. And he had to replace those probes, which means he had to spend money on that instead of, you know, army. And that hurt immensely. Jeff lost 45 SCVs himself, but he's got mules. He doesn't need those as much. 29 battle cruisers died in this match. 75 stalkers, 36 void rays, and 11 tempests. So, I mean, 47,000 resources lost for Psyche to 41,000 for Jeff. It just it feels like a lot of that is probes. A lot of that is bases and cannons, buildings. Uh, the 75 stalkers add up to a lot of money, too. Certainly, but good back and forth, man. Two command centers died. Three planetary fortresses went down. Psyche gave as good as he got. He just didn't have enough to deal with the BCs that were constantly being pumped in this game. How many? There were five on the field at the end of the game. Two in production and 29 that died. So like 35, almost 40 battle cruisers made in this match. Which, that's a large number. All right, cool. Well, that right there is going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.